What's up guys, welcome back to another video on Chris Thoughts. As promised, much lower video quality this time. So last week I was staying at my mom and dad's place, and I decided it would be the perfect opportunity to test a lifelong question that I've had. Does the Tooth Fairy exist? <laughs> clear, this has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I was getting my wisdom teeth pulled on Thursday anyway. Totally unrelated. Speaking of which, to give a little bit more context about why I was getting my wisdom teeth pulled, here's me, but in the past. Hey guys, so it's the day before I get my teeth pulled and I thought I'd just show you guys what we're dealing with here. So this is as far as I can close my mouth right now, my two front teeth. And the reason for that is, is because when my wisdom teeth came in, they actually came in straight. So for a while, they didn't think I would have to get my wisdom teeth pulled. The dentist told me that I probably wouldn't need to get them pulled, or at least not anytime soon, because they were coming in straight and didn't look like they would be an issue. But then what happened was they overextended. So they came in further than they should. And now when I close my jaw, just this part of my mouth is touching and it's preventing the rest of the teeth from closing properly. So that's why I need to get them pulled now. And the reason this is a problem is A, it's really annoying to not be able to chew anything. And also the dentist told me that what could happen is that my front teeth could grow further to compensate for the not being able to close properly, which would mean I would have really loose teeth, which is obviously a problem because I'd like to keep my teeth for as long as I can if possible. Okay, but really, it was about the tooth fairy. So, with the day of judgment for my teeth quickly approaching, I ate my final meal, which was a sandwich at 11.30, which felt as weird as it sounds, and I went to bed, knowing that my mouth would never be the same again. I was a little bit afraid, but I handled it like a champ. Okay, I have to leave in like 10 minutes. I think it's finally actually sinking in that this is happening. I'm a little bit terrified, and also feel really weird because I haven't had caffeine since yesterday. I'm also kind of hungry. So I rode bravely to the clinic, and while I was there, I made sure to ask them if they could keep my teeth instead of throwing them in the bin. The nurse said, sure. They were actually really chill about it. They had these little cups that they set aside teeth, like just for that purpose, I think. So she put one on the desk and showed it to me and said that they would put my teeth in there and be able to give it to me when I'm done. Then they gave me some anesthetic and I was out for a solid two hours. I completely blacked out, which is weird because I, when I woke up, I was in a different room laying on a cot and I have absolutely no idea how I got there. If I maybe was able to walk and just wasn't conscious or if they put me in a wheelchair or something, uh, I don't know. But anyway, my dad was there and they woke me up and I was really out of it on a lot of drugs and it took a little while before I could actually stand up and walk out of there and I needed quite a bit of help to walk. But eventually I made it out of the building and once I got in the car, I, like a good little YouTuber, made sure to score some footage to let my fans know that I'm okay. Live, but live is loud for me. It's a wet time. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Honestly, I don't even remember filming that. That's how out of it I was. I looked on my phone later and I was like, what are these videos? And I, I had no memory of filming them. Like, even now I still only like vaguely remember making some video when I got in the car. I was so out of it though. Oh man. Like, look at my eyes. Like... <laughs> oh yeah, I was feeling my face because they froze my, my jaw. Um, obviously, which didn't wear off for a while, but I was totally fascinated by that. I think I drooled a bit on some stuff too. That was, uh, less than ideal. Also, later, I was so out of it. They had put gauze in my mouth to 
stop the bleeding from where they pulled the teeth out. And for some reason, I didn't realize that they had left the gauze in. I just assumed that I couldn't talk for some reason. Actually, I probably just wasn't even thinking about it. So then later, when my mom came and, and took the gauze out of my mouth, it was like when the magician pulls the coin out from behind the kid's ear. I was just like... <laughs> my mind was blown. I was just like, oh my goodness, like, where did that come from? It was a very weird afternoon, for sure. I slept a lot, apparently. Don't really remember it. I just remember being on the couch. But apparently I slept for like four hours that day. So, you know, could have been worse. But anyway, now that the easy part of my plan was over, it was time to move into phase two, which I had appropriately titled Phase Two to Catch a Fairy. My plan was pretty simple. I had put my teeth under my pillow before I went to bed, which apparently attracts this calcium craving menace, and wait. I tried to record some footage on my phone to catch the pilfering prankster in the act, but unfortunately I forgot that my phone can't record when there's no light. So sadly, I don't actually have any footage of me sleeping that I can post publicly on the internet. However, in the morning, undeterred, I went to see if I had hauled in any loot from the worst business model on planet Earth. <laughs> So yeah, my teeth were still there when I woke up, which unfortunately means that my parents were right and the Tooth Fairy isn't real. Or maybe he's realized that spending all his money on teeth isn't a solid investment and has moved on to more stable finances. Either way, sorry kids. Oh well. At least we know Santa's real. Anyway, that's the end of this episode of Chris Thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, it really means a lot to me. If you like the video, please feel free to leave a like and maybe subscribe, and leave a comment saying which one of your teeth is your favorite. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.